spell. Good golly, YouTube. It's great to see you again. How are you? Today you have the rhino and we're going to be looking at a beer. We are looking at this beer right here. This beer right here was picked up for me in St. Catharines by the punter, so thank you very much, punter. This is Thornbury Beverage Company's Jubilee Amber Lager. Now, Thornbury, as a lot of you would probably know, is the name of a cider company here in Ontario. Uh, Thornbury Cider was owned by King Brewery. And basically, you can't buy the King stuff anymore, but you can get Thornbury Dark, Thornbury Pilsner, and uh, Thornbury, uh, what was what was King's third one? Uh, Pilsner, Dark Lager, and um, uh, I think it was a cream. So uh, they, they've rebranded is basically what it comes down to. They've rebranded into Thornbury. Their website is thornbury.ca. Uh, Provincial Beverages of Canada Limit uh, Incorporated, sorry. Nobleton, Ontario, and again, Nobleton, Ontario is where the Beer Baron's uh, King Brewery was. Uh, our Jubilee Amber Lager is an approachable, easy-drinking craft beer that you can enjoy with friends over great food and conversation. It offers a flavorful balance of noble hops and caramel malts, perfect with grilled meats, sandwiches, and soft cheeses. Made in Canada with the world's finest ingredients. And ABV on here is 4.8, so we're actually looking at a light lager in a in a way. And I don't see a crown anywhere on here, so I don't think it's a crown holding scan for those of you that actually uh, care about the care about the crown strike. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm actually surprised that there was no real, uh, that the Canadian Beer News website, uh, CBN, didn't talk about uh, King Brewery rebranding as Thornbury. I'm really surprised because they're usually on top of all of that stuff, unless unless I missed it. Because I do my, we do our weekly Beer Dweebs United and uh, I read all the new news that they have posted every week. So... Unless it was like really, 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 really was hidden, I can't believe I would have missed it. The angry poor. Right down the middle. The angry poor. Gotta get everything out of the can. You gotta, you gotta get it all out. Okay, so Jubilee Amber is an amber color. You get that nice little reddish brown hue, little off white head, good little snap crackle pop. Listen to this. Look at that head. Look at that beer. Very, very see through. We have it in the Spigaloo IPA glass because it just makes everything taste better. Let's grab the butt plug end. Really, not much. A little bit, a little bit of caramel, and that's it. So a little bit of that sweet maltiness on the forefront, and nothing else really. Let's try the Jubilee Amber. Cheers, guys. It's easy drinking, like it claims. It's approachable, like it claims. It does have an under attenuated uh, malt taste, so a little very sweet, very sweet caramel like flavoring to it. Noble hops, yeah, you get that grassy, uh, grassy, little bit of zestiness on the background, just grassy, dirty, zesty. So yeah, caramel and zesty grassiness, that's all you're getting really. It's it's very light, it's kind of silky, very low carbonation. Mm. 
There's absolutely no problem drinking this. Is it very flavorful? No. Is it something that would make me want to go out and drink it again? Not really. But is it something I could buy a pitcher of if it was ice cold and share with all my buddies, even guys that like Bud and Bud Light and all that? Most likely, as long as they can drink a Pilsner and get a little bit of hop flavor, they could drink this. This is very, very approachable, very easy to drink. Again, do I find it really good? No. But do I find it offensive in any way? No. Uh, out of 10 on it. Now, again, I know people get angry with the way I rate things, but I rate things on what I personally feel about it. Unless I think that what I personally feel about it and what I would give it if I was rating it as that style are very, very different. Because sometimes you'll hear me go, oh, as, as an IPA, this is like a 9 out of 10, but for me personally, it's like a 4. Uh, that does happen sometimes, and I only br bring up double scores when I think that where it sits stylistically and where I personally rate it are very different. In this case, I, I think it's kind of uh, middle of the road to just below average on both accounts. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There's nothing wrong with drinking it. There's nothing wrong with trying it. I believe it's like 265 a can, so you're not out all that much if you try it, and I don't think you're going to dislike it. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Even burp's nice. All that being said, all that being said, um, uh, six, seven, five out of ten. Almost, almost something I would buy again. Almost. It is a good little beer. And yeah, it's a good little beer. If you're a Rickards Red drinker. This might be, and you want to, if you're a Rickards Red drinker and you want to support local uh, Ontario craft beers instead of the big guys, it might be a choice to make instead, or keep drinking Rickards Red, because really, drink whatever beer you really like. Thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful evening. Thornbury's Jubilee Amber. Bye. we got to try and turn this camera off now, okay, let's see.